Hi guys, so I'm going to do a pick a card. How does he feel about me? What is he thinking? Current energy, etc. I will see how it turns out, what I will name the video, because they always have their own mind, okay? So I can't really tell you what it will be, so we'll see, okay? So I have three piles. Pile number one, okay? Pile number two. And pile number three. So give you guys a good view if you want to look there. Left to right. One, two, and three. Okay. Hi, pile number one. So if you want to book a reading with me, I'll leave my information below in the description. We also have a Facebook group. Um, I encourage you to follow my Instagram account as well. I like to do little mini readings on there. and People really like those as well. So I'm going to that in there. Okay. So this pile right now, this is somebody who's an absolute mess, okay? I'm not going to lie about that. They don't know what they think. They don't know what they want. They're all out of sorts, okay? And I feel this person may have other options, okay? Other females or males, whichever sex or gender it may be. It's not gender specific, okay? They're lacking the discipline right now to be dedicated to one person, okay? And you want them to come at you. You want this done by the book. You want this done the right way. You want a commitment. And they're just not feeling it right now. Okay? They're kind of, you know, they kind of got the gate closed to this connection right now. Their heart is guarded. They're not in it right now. And, you know, it's just going to require patience for this one. And you're being encouraged to just kind of step back and, you know, take your time. You can't force this guy to move forward or female, whatever it may be, masculine, feminine. This doesn't have to be twin flame, guys. It can be any connection any connection okay um it could be a friendship you know whatever and i just feel there's a lot of the blame game going on i'm sensing some uh selfish behavior with this person as well i feel that the universe is trying to push them through an awakening process and connect more spiritually but they're fighting it off they have all these karmic cycles going on right now it doesn't mean they have a partner per se but they have you know bad habits that sort of thing that they need to wrap up okay and, you know, there is some luck on your side with this connection. So there could be movement in the future for some of you, not all of you, okay? So there is some hope here. But I don't feel the love per se, okay? I don't feel strong love right now. And I just feel like it's just, you know, been a win-lose situation. Like you get some attention from them and then they back away and you get some attention and then they back away. Okay, a little bit of selfish behavior and you're always waiting for them. Okay, you're always waiting, and you're waiting for them to build back up out of the ashes and come back towards you, okay? But you're being asked to move on to better things because there's something else better for you out there, okay? So let's see what else I get for this connection right now. Let's see. Oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I feel like this connection is not exactly in the best place where it is right now. You know, it's kind of chopped wood. It's just not healthy. Okay, so I don't I don't feel a strong love here. Okay. Let's see what else we get. You're being encouraged to stand in your strength with this connection right now as well. Okay. And you need to stand more confident. You need to be more confident about yourself because a lot of you that are involved in this connection, you're very insecure, okay? And you're really wanting this person to come at you and you're really wanting them to be with you. And you hate that you're not communicating as much as you'd like to, okay? In a sense, they are as well, but they're kind of a mess right now. And I just feel like they're very guarded. Very, very guarded. Okay? So let's see what... Yeah, they're not in a good place right now, okay? They're really sad. They're just, like, depressed. You know, hitting these tower moments right now, okay? And they need, they need to wrap up some cycles. That's definitely coming in. They have these cycles that need to wrap up over on my... They need to end cycles, they need a new beginning, but they're not doing it at this current moment, okay? And I do feel there's been some, you know, fighting in this connection, possibly words exchanged, that sort of thing. And your spirit guides are trying to guide you in a different direction is what I'm really picking up with this connection right now. We'll see what else we get. There's some chakra imbalances going on. Okay, so, yeah, they're being deceptive, okay? Their throat chakra is closed right now, underactive, that sort of thing is coming in as well. Okay, and you need to listen to your intuition about this connection because some of you just know it's not healthy and I don't feel it is healthy. Okay, I feel some narcissistic behavior. Okay, 
you may get contact and again with this connection okay so that is a possibility they will contact you but you are being asked to release this connection okay it's not in a healthy state right now yeah you need to forgive them as well because a lot of you are hurt in this connection you just need to live in the moment okay and you are being asked to move forward yeah, it's just not the timing for this connection. They are not in a good place. And it feels like a lot of you are very sad. I feel a very sad, heavy energy right now with this connection. So I feel a lot of you just aren't, you know, you're not feeling good about this connection. You're uneasy. Yeah, you're being asked to release this connection for sure, okay? Do they love you? They don't know. They don't know, okay? They don't know what they want. <laughs> That's pretty simple as that, okay? Okay. And there's just, you know, there's a lot of misunderstanding. I feel that you feel different for them than they're feeling for you right now, okay? But they know how to lure you in. So this person might like to hook up with you or maybe they have, you know, some toxic energy surrounding them as well. They do like to flirt, lure you in, a lot of sexual energy with this connection, okay? They do view you as a soulmate, Okay? But a lot of you also have a secret admirer, somebody else better out there that is another soul connection for you, okay? So this connection just isn't giving me the healthy vibe at this current moment, okay? Doesn't mean they never will. Yeah, see, they got some player energy here. They have other possibilities in this connection, okay? Definitely there. And this person is a very, you know, it says tortured soul. They're very sad. They don't feel themselves. They have identity issues. They feel like they're just a fragment of themselves right now. So this connection definitely is not healthy. I feel it's mainly, you know, they like to come in and hook up or, you know, get what they can out of you sort of thing. So I do feel some narcissistic behavior right now and they do have a very guarded heart. So they've probably been hurt in the past. And a lot of you are constantly wanting the validation if they truly love you or not. Okay, so you're, you're really wondering yourself. So I really feel the ones that picked this one here aren't sure. You're not really sure. You want joy and stability, but you're not getting that right now, okay? It's not there. It's just not there in this connection. Yeah, they're refusing to see the connection. They're not wanting to see any more in this connection right now, okay? Let's see here. Yeah, the balance isn't there. You're giving more than you're receiving out of this connection. That's very clear right now. And you have some decisions to make, and you have in your mind what you want in a commitment right now, and this person is not giving it to you, okay? Yeah, they feel helpless and hopeless. You feel helpless and hopeless. Overall, I don't feel this connection is giving you a good feeling. Okay? It's not giving you the feeling that you want. It's not giving you the love that you want. It's not fulfillment for you. And I do see changes coming forward. And I don't see the changes coming forward with this specific person, but with you. Okay? With you, I see better coming in for you. Let's see if we can get some more validation here. Yeah, there's a lot of envy in this connection. So you're possibly envious because they have adjacent possibilities. They have other people, options, that sort of thing. So there's definitely some jealousy there, okay? Yeah, they're very blocked in the heart chakra. So they're not wanting to open up to love right now. Some of them may have financial issues. But overall, you're very heartbroken and you're not getting the fulfillment that you need right now, okay? This person's kind of a hot mess. Yeah, I see storm warning. They're a hot mess, guys. I would encourage you to move on from this connection. So they do, you know, they do feel kind of connected to you on a soulmate level, that sort of thing. But they're trying to ignore it. They're trying to ignore it. Okay, they do feel energy off you. But yeah, this person has a lot of financial instabilities as well. Okay, but they do feel vibes with you when you're together. I do feel there's joyful moments when you're together, but it's like you get together and you have these good moments or you hook up or, you know, Netflix and chill or what have you. And then all of a sudden they're like gone, you know, that sort of thing. That's really coming in for you with this connection today. Okay. Yeah. You need to ground yourself. So you need to center yourself. You need to get your shit together. You need to start gathering yourself together because right now their mess is making you a mess. The hot and cold is driving you crazy. You feel left out in the cold a lot. Yeah. You need to get more in tune with your guides. Okay, listen to your guides, listen to your intuition, guys. Yeah, stand in your decisions, stand your ground. You're not getting the respect from this person that you deserve. I feel like, you know, there's some there's some happy moments. I mean, it's not a shitty all the time, but you're not having the self-love and the self-worth right now, and you need to heal that because you need to respect yourself in this connection because this person's not giving it to you. Okay? 
so I hate to say not such positive things about this one, but we'll see what the results are going to be. Okay, I feel this person is going to stay in kind of a hermit mode. They're not going to move forward right now. I don't see movement in this connection right now, okay? I really don't. They have healing right now. The divine's trying to teach them. They're not listening. Okay, you deserve more. You deserve more, okay? And you are being asked to detach from this connection, okay? Because this person has control over you, and they know that as well. It's a power trip, guys. It's really a power trip. So I would really encourage you to back away from this connection. It's not fulfilling you. Yeah, see narcissistic behaviors. And there's a lot of jealousy here because they have other possibilities and some of you are aware of that. Okay, so we'll move on to pile number two. Hi, pile number two. So if you want to book a private reading with me, I have my information below. Um, I have a Facebook group as well, Instagram. My email is below. You can contact me that way. I have weekend emergencies if I'm able to do them, I will. And I can also book emergencies for weekdays as well. So, you know, just take a look if you're interested. Okay, so does this person love you? Oh my God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like, love, love, love. I mean, come on. Like, can we get any more clear here? Simply love, okay? Like, this person very much loves you. And you love them as well, but some of you are wondering, like, do they really love me? Like, you're you're not sure. You're not sure because they're not telling you. They're not telling you at all. Well, most of them aren't anyways. But the abundance is in this connection. Definitely there. I feel a third-party situation. Okay, this can be, you know, another person. This can be a mother. This can be a family, religion, whatever it may be. Okay, and it is toxic. It's not healthy, whatever it is. Okay. This person's very insecure about you. They feel like you're too good for them, okay? But they're praying for you. Your wish fulfillment for them. They're manifesting like freaking crazy guys, like manifesting. I mean, come on, they are. And they want a relationship with you, but then you two, you know, he, he or she feels that you are opposite, okay? Like you're not compatible. But then they want you, but they feel like you're too good, and that sort of thing is coming in as well. But they, they are very attracted to you. Very, very attracted. I feel this person's a bit quiet right now, and you're confused by the situation, but I do see a new cycle beginning with this person. I feel like they're really in their mind right now. They're trying to decide what they truly want. Their higher power is pushing them towards you. They are connecting with their higher power more, okay? And, yeah, they have a third-party situation that is not healthy, and they're at a fork in the road of decisions on that, okay? And they just keep going around and around with this, okay? They're trying to figure it out. I do see them coming in and exchanging gifts with you. I do see there is messages coming in from this person as well. They want to make an offer for you, okay? That's very clear to me. This person has a ton of love for you. There's no doubt in my mind. But the insecurity runs very deep here, Okay? For some of you, the past is holding you back with this connection, holding them back with this connection, this third-party situation, the insecurities. But some of them, I feel, are going to make a move towards you, okay? There's something going on here. But they're lacking the confidence, and that's what they need right now is that confidence, and it's just not there, okay? They have a lot of negativity surrounding them, especially with whatever this wedge is in this connection for you guys, okay? Let's see what else we get here. Yeah, they, they view you very nurturing, okay? They view you as a very nurturing, motherly person, okay? There's a lot of healing going on right now, okay? This person's going through an awakening. I feel their third eye chakra is opening up, okay? They're trying to release their third party. They're trying to release, okay? They want to give and receive equally with you. They want to be with you. They want to be 100% whole with you. That's on their mind because they're manifesting like crazy. I feel like this person sits up at night and manifests. But they're very scared. They're very scared, okay? And, you know, the balance hasn't been in this connection. And they want that balance. They want to be with you. But they feel kind of helpless and hopeless right now, okay? They just do. And I feel this person's being deceptive towards you. You're being asked to choose your battles with this person, okay? So I feel like there's been some arguments some budding heads because they don't know how to express is part of the problem here. They're scared to express, okay? They're trying to rebuild their life as well, I'm picking up, and they're just trying to figure it out. So they're really confused right now, but they do love you. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Yeah, they're trying to close out cycles right now. 
Okay, so there's some toxic cycles surrounding this person. But they do want to reconcile with you. And a lot of you are confused. It's just been such a mystery. There's these loose ends that just aren't tying up. And, you know, they're being deceptive and the balance isn't there. And a lot of you are angry in this connection because you're not getting an answer at all. They're being so deceptive. And you, you know, just have faith here. Okay, have faith. They want to lure you in, guys. They want to lure you in because they are absolutely addicted to you. They are obsessed. Okay? They are very obsessed. They desire you very much so. They are admiring you. They are obsessed with you. But they need to release and cut ties with the toxic situations surrounding them, whatever it may be in their situation. Some of them are addicts as well. I'm being told, okay, they have addiction. They have commitments to other priorities right now, okay? And it's just like it's been a constant cycle, but they view you as that one person they want to be with, okay? That's very clear. And they do view you as a soul connection. So this can be soul or twin flame connection, either one, okay? So I'll see what else they have to say to you. Yeah, they want a chance, and they don't feel like that they're good enough for you. They don't feel they can meet your expectations. No one will change the love. I mean, the, the L words come in like 20 times in this one already, it seems like. Okay, some of them are growing spiritually, so they looked into readings. Maybe they've done a pick a card to try to validate your situation towards them. Okay? So some of them are hiding this connection, trying to protect it from their current toxic life that they're in right now, okay? And they're not used to this connection, so I feel a lot of them have ran, and I feel a lot of silence in this one, okay? I just feel like there's not a lot of contact here at this current moment. But you are the best thing that's ever happened to them, and they know that, okay? So I do feel for a majority, this person's just a bit quiet, reserved at this current moment, and they're feeling consequences of their actions. There may have been some arguments, or they said things to push you away, and yeah, this is a twin flame connection. It can be twin flame or soulmate connection here. Yeah, they hate not communicating as much as they'd like to right now, and they have a lot of anxiety when it comes to you. They're scared to lose you, yet they're scared to leave their current situation as well because they don't know how to. Okay, they don't know anything else. They feel obligated to whatever they're in right now they do view you as a very important person in their life and they do have a loyalty to you in a sense okay there's some jealousy here i feel they're jealous of you okay i feel they feel that you're better than them that you could find somebody else and they're like you know she's not going to want to sit and wait for me i'm not good enough okay but their spirit guides are guiding them in the right direction to you know help their confidence and that sort of thing see what we get here yeah it's just a matter of waiting for this one okay it's it's they got some battles going on at home that sort of thing but they view you as that strong feminine energy they really look up to this one does but a lot of them have marriages and things like that that are interrupting these connection connections that they need to end and they know this okay so we'll see what else we get in the heart space right now this person yeah their heart they're aching for you they're heartbroken they're heartbroken in many ways right now you're aching for them. They have a lot of passion for you, though. A lot of sexual attraction. They're very fond of you, and they want to rejuvenate that love for you. And they're scared you're going to find somebody else as well. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind that person loves you. I don't think you need to question that one at all. And they want to surrender to their current situation in their life. And this also indicates to me some of you have stepped back from this because you got frustrated. They want happiness with you. Okay. They are manifesting. I mean, can the manifestation be any more clear now? Okay, this one's spying on you as well, I'm being told. They're one of those that like to sit and look on Facebook at your pictures, shit like that, okay? But they're definitely trying to sweep up the dirt, sweep up the dirty in their life right now. And they are having abandonment issues as well. So some childhood wounds surrounding this connection right now as well. Yeah, they're going through some healing processes, okay? Yeah, they do feel tied down to whatever situation is surrounding them at this time. So they're not feeling worthy, okay? But they appreciate you tremendously. They really look up to you. Really look up to you, okay? They feel like they can't come to you. They have illusions with this connection. This also indicates deception as well to me, in my opinion. You know, they're, they're like, got their back turned towards you. There's, like, secrets, okay? They're not telling you how they feel. And they just feel like you're unreachable. But they are very deep in thought about you. And they're trying to gain the strength to come towards you and tell you how they feel. And they are holding your heart very, very tightly. They do want to come and acknowledge what they feel for you. 
Okay, so I'm being told to get a couple more messages on this one. Yeah, they feel your energy, okay? They really feel you in the 5D, this one does. Telepathic communication as well, I'm being told. They've loved you a very long time. Years, guys. Years. For some of you, years. Before you even knew. Okay? This is probably a person that's loved you from your past. You know, whatever it may be. Okay? They're trying to figure you out as well. So you're just as mysterious as they are right now. Yeah, a lot of them do have a karmic situation going on. Yeah, and they're sending you music through songs. They're sending you, you know, messages through songs, more or less. Okay, is what's going on here. They tried to erase you from their mind, but they can't. Okay, they feel obligated to their current situation in their life, and they can't get rid of you in their mind. Okay? My beloved twin flame, I'm coming home. So they're coming back to you guys. There's reconciliation in this one. I think this is a pretty clear answer. Do they love you? Absolutely more than you realize. They're obsessed with you. They're very obsessed with you, and I bet if I draw more cards here, I'll get that one. Some of them are telling you they're just friends. <laughs> okay, some of them are like, we're just friends. But they don't want to they don't want to let you go. They're just friends and they got these boundaries up because they're in these situations right now. They feel like they can't get out of it. They don't want to lose you as well. And they have decisions to make right now as well. Okay, this person is, yeah, very much longing for you. They stay up at night thinking about you. They are manifesting like crazy. Okay, they are not stopping manifesting. Okay. A lot of them have financial issues as well. There are some red flags around them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. They have a lot of sexual energy for you. Very much attracted. Okay. But you want respect. And some of you have put your foot down. You set up these boundaries. And you're like, I'm not doing this. You need to step away from your toxic situation in your life before I will give you that commitment. So I feel a lot of you put your foot down. Or you're like, you're not telling me how you feel. You're playing me. Because some of you feel played. But this is a destined partnership, soulmate, twin flame, okay? The chemistry is very strong here. This person's true love, guys. This person's true love. They know this. They feel it hard. This person's got love for you like you don't even know because they are holding that shit in because they have these spiritual lessons and karmic situations that are interrupting right now, okay? They're in a shitty place. So I think that pretty much answers that one for you. So we'll go on to number three. Hi, pile number three. So if you want to book a reading with me, uh, my information is below. I have weekend emergencies. If I'm around, I do them. I have weekday emergencies. I have other types of bookings. I have different offers. Okay, so check it out. I also have an Instagram account and Facebook group to join as well. Okay. Does this person love me? Honestly, not at this current moment, but they have feelings for you. Okay, there's definitely feelings. I just don't feel a full-blown love. Here, this connection is not balanced. Okay, so there's a lot of imbalances and confusion in this connection right now, okay? I do feel they really like you and they want to take action towards you. But there's a lot of hostilities and frustration in this connection right now. So there's been some words exchanged, some misunderstandings, that sort of thing. And you're really worried, like, do they love me? Do they care? That sort of thing is coming in here. So a lot of, you know, anxiety and worry. I do feel a strong sexual connection with the two of you, okay? But you're being asked to reconsider this connection right now because it's not really in a healthy place right now. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, this is not the guy or female for you, okay? I do feel there is a new start coming, okay? It's very much coming. I just don't feel this one's developed quite into love, okay? It's more like a very strong friendship. They truly care about you. And, you know, they're not making you feel good enough because you're not getting fulfilled 100%, okay? It's like kind of like a developing connection because I do feel there'll be some unexpected development down the road, some new starts, that sort of thing as well. They are deeply thinking about you right now, okay? But I feel like they're somewhat running from this connection, so they're not giving you a definite answer on how they feel right now, okay? But they definitely are deep in thought, like, what do I want with her, you know, or him or whatever? And I do see reconciliation for some of you that are not in contact with this person at this current moment, okay? I don't feel this is a bad person. It's not. It's just somebody who is kind of in a tough spot at this moment and they're trying to figure out their life, okay? They are thinking about being with you, okay? They do want to travel towards you, but they have some toxic energy. They have some things around them right now that aren't so healthy, 
but they are getting connected to their higher self, which is trying to guide them in the right direction with their life right now. Some of you may have surrendered or thinking about surrendering to this connection right now because the confusion is just too much for you. And I do feel this person may be a bit quiet at this current moment as well. Okay, but this one is blossoming. Very slow moving connection. Very slow moving. They just want to be friends right now. Maybe you're friends with benefits. You know, maybe you're just somebody to talk to. They admire you. They think a lot of you. Okay? They appreciate you. And they do want to be in a relationship, but they're just not quite ready. They're not quite there yet. The love isn't quite there, so I can't say they completely love you. I can't validate that for you right now. But there's definitely a strong feelings with this connection. Okay? Yeah, this friend's got inner child wounds, which I feel leaves them hesitant to commitment at this current time. Okay, so they're very fearful of commitment, but they do want to make that journey towards you. And I feel they will eventually when they're ready. But right now, they're just kind of, you know, standing back at this current moment. They really think a lot of you, though, I'm picking up. But you're really deep in thought. And you need to kind of just let go right now and not overthink on this connection right now because it's not helping the connection. Okay. They don't feel good enough for you. This one does not feel good enough, okay? So they're hesitant. They're very insecure. Yeah, caged heart, childhood wounds, past relationships as well for some of them. Yeah, they're just kind of back in their personal space right now. But I do see some, you know, some growing in this connection, some mending of, you know, some mending fences going on here because there is some differences between the two of you. Some of you might just make the first move and be like, hey, you know, you go out with me, that sort of thing, okay? This person self-sabotages themselves when it comes to relationships quite a bit. They're scared of relationships, okay? There may be third party with some of these, but I also, honestly, I see this as that they were hurt with a past relationship very badly, okay? And their heart was with that person, and they're just so hurt right now that they're scared, Okay? And they're just not being themselves, a little bit of an identity issue going on. And there's some red flags with this person. And I feel it's a lot of toxic energy surrounding them from their past. Okay, yeah. See, they're trying to figure out their strengths right now because they feel quite weak. Some jealousy as well here. So maybe some of you are, you know, they think you're too good and they're afraid you'll find somebody else. But then they're not ready for a connection right now. So they're just scared and they're held back and their heart chakra is closed. Okay, so... Yeah, this, this person deeply cares for you, though. There's no doubt in my mind about that. A lot of you are just waiting. This is similar to pile number one, a bit different. But yeah, a lot of you are waiting. This person needs to heal first before they're able to give love to you. But you deserve love, and they know that. Okay, they know that. They're manifesting you, so they are deeply thinking about this as well. Okay, and I do see the love coming. I do see it coming for some of you. It's just going to be a minute, you know. Some of them have financial issues as well, and they do view you as a friendship here, okay? So it is a, it's like best friend, okay? But this person has toxic energy around them, you know. They have red flags. I don't feel they'd hurt you, though. They're longing.